Good afternoon everybody, it's a Cockney Colonel here, a little bit ahead of schedule, we've got to be um, sorting some stuff out this weekend, so we're trying to get things done. Change things round a little bit this week, change things round a little bit for you guys, going to try something different. So we put out some more seats, so more of you will be able to sit down. We're still going to have some standing area behind the old pews there, so please come along and uh, you know give some praise and praise the Lord down at the old auction house with the old pews out there. So this is for Tuesday, November the 10th, okay? Down in Wildwood, State Road 44, close to the junction of 301. So Tuesday, November the 10th, four o'clock preview, five o'clock start. All right, we will have another box lock bonanza down in the barn, but that won't be till the following week, when that'll be uh, Tuesday, November the 17th. So don't come this week for the early one, because it's just the main one. All right, so Tuesday, November the 20th, four o'clock preview, five o'clock start. As I say, laid things out a little bit different. So there's gonna be more seats for you guys to sit down, park your bums, all right? But we've got some really cool, kind of neat stuff. Got a different layout completely, so I'm gonna try and give you a blitz run round. Got a really cool lot of artwork running along the back wall, all right? So if you're into eagles and stuff like that, couple of cool looking eagles there, little eagle fellas. Really neat little trio of um, skinny ladies, all right? So if you're into skinny ladies, a bit like me poppy, uh, then there's three of those little things there that somebody's done. All right, so they're rather neat. Some really cool lamps as well this week. I'm gonna come to a couple of these little para, parakeet sort of lamp things. Um, but these lampshades are really neat. Sort of kind of old vintage old, you know, that stained glass and everything lampshades there. So they're really neat. A um, couple of really another nice pieces of artwork there. Um, some acrylic, all right, that's acrylic. I think it's $40 on the back of that one. That's really nice, Broadway, something like that. So some really neat pieces. Something that some Mexican fella did in the uh, 1934 World Trade Fair. So that's rather neat, that thing. Kind of um, pensive looking, scary looking kid. Do love a scary looking kid, don't we, down here. Um, another nice little piece of artwork. Old pensive Pavarotti didn't go last week, so we'll have another little try with him this week. Really cool looking um, sort of palm tree mirror there. And another neat sort of uh, decorative mirror next to it, so that's cool. A couple of these sort of um, funky modern kind of modern vintage i'd say you know because it's kind of vintage things but done in a kind of modern way it's really quite cool are oh, rude 1999 all right so you are rude that's the name of that guy who done that one and then some other sort of kind of sci-fi thing going on here now robbie plug this thing in right this little fountain with the cherubs here he's had it going all week i ain't stopped going to the toilet kids make me want to go a wheel all i can hear is this trickling water and i have to like keep busting out running to go out of the wee all the time don't i you know because it's like just makes you want to go away, you know? Anyway, nice cute uh, piece of home decor there, the sort of basket thing that was um, goes above the old kitchen area if you wanted to do that. Really cool looking little golf tournament placard thing, he's neat. And um, some Stephen K 619 of 950, really nice sort of oil work there going on. A uh, little crate, you know, the old nectarine, sunny slope brand, something like that, premium quality fruit, that's cool. A uh, little army um, get up there, a little, uh, Jacket thingy, little honey pot. That looks quite cool. It's a bigger honey pot, you know, but this thing. And um, pet mate, all right, kennel cab, brand spanking new. So if you've got a little doggy or a little cat or something like that, you need to carry around. Happy days. All right, some other looking Mexican fella chappy there with all baskets over him, trying to flog him probably, make a few quid, uh, dollars as you guys say. All right, uh, little old stone rubbing kit. So if you're into rubbing old stones, maybe, that's your kit for you. A uh, little new in the box, sort of carefree humidifier plus, so that looks rather neat. All right, and a couple of bit more chintz, all right, and that's bowed, blah, blah, blah. Um, washer dryer, really nice. Fridge air, all right, washer and a fridge air dryer. Great condition, all right, just taking them out of an hour, so it'll be working pucker. So they're going to be popular, going to be nice. All right, got a bit of Christmas stuff this week, all right, so we're going through it. You like doggies? Christmas doggies? Yeah, look, woof, woof. Grandeur Noel, collector's edition from 2002. These little fellas are here in the box. All right, so they're rather neat. Some little snowmen there, they're kind of cool. Winnie the Pooh, everybody loves Winnie the Pooh, don't they? All right, Winnie the Pooh there with Eeyore. All right, an old, um, whatever his name is, Christopher Robin, the geezer at the back. That's Christopher Robin, it, who goes with Winnie the Pooh. Some funny looking geezer there, or a little uh, berry thing. All right, don't know if that's meant to be dark water like that. Uh, maybe, not so sure myself. Um, Something with potpourri in it, all right, so marvellous, happy days. Unusual looking doggy metal thing there, he's kind of cool. Old um, Ilder and Florence, I think we'll call them. Ilder and Florence, look like they've been perched up down, you know, down at the bar at Cody's or something like that, sitting on the dock, don't they, you know? 
had a few too many tequilas or something like that, you know. Rather neat looking fox, he lights up. He's a light up decorative fox. So he put a candle or something in him um, and he lights up the way. So he's really neat, he's a really nice little thing. Um, come back to Christmas, but we've got 1985 Indianapolis 500 winner. Some geezer called Danny Sullivan apparently. All right, um, and then some more probably pictures of the geezer and stuff like that. So that looks pop rule. Here, look, there's old Rockwell. I used to like Jim Rockwell, he's cool. I used to love that watching that program. Rochford Files, that was it. Marvellous, I used to love that. Um, some vintage and paint each artist signed wooden things. So some geezer cuts up a little bit of branches and trees and stuff like that and paints birds and stuff on them and frogs. Marvellous, right? Franklin Mint Doll, 18 inch teddy bear bride with groom, Winston and Edwina. All right, good old Winston the teddy bear and Edwina. All right, look happy, don't they? All right, they've probably been married for, you know, donkey's years, all right, but ain't got a clue because they're just stuffed bears, isn't they, you know? Best way to be, probably. Uh, these are rather neat. There's some licensed chauffeur from Illinois. All right, so what obviously the big old guys used to wear back in the day, like the cab drivers in England still do, the black cab drivers, um, but they used to have obviously these little pins that they used to wear because they were a chauffeur. A rather neat looking owl jockey. All right, so it's like a little jockey, probably a bit, bit, bit bigger than a real jockey because those little fellas are tiny, aren't they? You know, they live their life in the sauna trying to keep the weight off them and stuff like that. All right, so some Trenton, New Brunswick, New York, Intermediate, Penn Central, whatever that is, sort of old subway bits and pieces and that and maps and stuff like that. A couple of really nice looking uh, cross pens there. So they look rather neat. Rather neat looking old Father Christmas with the old tray there, all right? And uh, some birdie about some delicious refreshing, good to the last drop. Uh, we'll probably coke or something like that as well I'd imagine all right so then we got some department 56 figures all right so good number of these all right all with the boxes all right so really cool if you want to really dress up your Christmas area you know around a tree and around a house these figures are great you know the old carolers and bearing gifts and stuff like that all right so quite a number of these department 56 Carolla and gift set, um, you know, for the old uh, dreams and stuff like that, it says, or something like that. All right, but really quite cool, you know, really quite intricate details going on there. Um, and then we've got some train tracks and Passenger Express, all right. So this is for a hometown express. Lady apparently collected this every year, got a piece every year, all right. So there's quite a number of this Circus Express, my favourite photo, Alpine Tree Express, all sorts of them. All right, so loads of that Hometown Express stuff. All right, and a really cool looking globe there, Hometown Express globe. Not really sure what this is. Looks like some Japanese kid did some paintings or something. Um, so there's like some sort of booklet, all right, uh, paintings by the kid or something like that. Um, it's gonna open backwards, isn't it, because it's Japanese. So it's, um, yeah, all this kind of cool looking, neat artwork in here. Oh, and it's got little things on the back, how old they were, they were 10 and stuff like that. So, you know, you know any little Japanese people or uh, into Japanese stuff yourself, come and get some of the kiddie artwork, that'll be rather neat. Uh, have a quick buzz around here, some of the old Corel, all right, you know, indestructible Corel. Have a bit of bits and pieces that we boxed up, some really cool vintage looking scales in that little box lot. Number of banks, all right, we've got some banks and little pickups sort of, um, cast iron, not cast iron, die cast uh, little trucks and stuff like that in there. So we've lotted them all together this week. So it's a really neat looking um, trucks and little uh, banks in there. So they're gonna be, you know, all sold one money. The old dance champagne flutes are still here. So they're gonna go this week. All right, and some Norman Rockwell plates. Come and get your plates, everybody loves the plates. Some rather cool looking bird houses. So if you like birds, like I do, and you like houses, like I do, then you're probably better off getting a house for your bird. Most of you ain't got a clue what I'm talking about when I talk about a bird, but you know, the little birdie things is what you guys talk about, right? So the little birdie things live in these like barber shop or less can less cancer can't the yeah, house occupied, right? When the bird is in there, he's having a little poop or something like that. All right, that's some really neat looking little birdie houses. All right, kind of cool looking little decorative home decor kind of swing thing there, so that's cool. And these are cool, these orchids because they ain't real, so you can't kill them. Love that sort of stuff, but you can't kill it. All right, so that's really cool. Look at this lamp, right? I'm gonna show you, have got a little matching uh, table lamp to go with it, all right? But really cool little parakeet or something like that with a nice shade, all right? Floor lamp, all right? He's really rather neat, that guy. And he's got a matching little buddy that lives, all right, on a little table next to him somewhere, I'd imagine. All right, so really tall, uh, two cool looking lamps. And then look at this fella, all right? 
Wow, it looked great out on the old Lanai, wouldn't it? Out on the pool or something like that, you know, just outside on Pat's little uh, area where she has all her glass and the eagle that she's done up. This little fella needs to go out there and join him, right? Looks really cool. And we've got some really neat other lamps as well with like giraffes on them. So a couple of giraffe lamps, having a giraffe, ain't yeah, that means you're having a laugh, by the way, do you know what I mean, if you didn't know what I'm talking about. So a couple of really cool looking giraffe lamps. This little fat fella here, the old pelican or whatever he is, he's a, he's a guzzler, isn't he, you know? He's a wine holder, apparently. So on his backside, it says he's a wine holder. So that's the only reason I know he's a wine holder, because there's a sticker on him that says he's a wine holder. So he's rather neat. And a little fella next to him, a couple of bit more home deck, all right. All right, sitting on the old bookshelf, little home decor shelf thing there. So that's got to go as well. So that's rather nice. All right, these are unusual. Portugal, I think these came from. I think the lady told me they came from Portugal. Really nice sort of decorated pottery um, sort of plate things there. Probably what model eat off them, you know, like all those people tell you. Oh, you can't eat off it because you'll get like paint poisoning or something like that. So, but they're good. They look really pretty. So they go nice on the wall up on the way or whatever. A little selection of the Villaroy Bosch, all right, so the different fruits there, the old fruit plates. So nice little side plates, Villaroy Bosch. The old Mr. Peanut fella, we didn't get to him last week, so we chucked him in a box with a couple of old decanters or something like that, put your pims in there. Oh no, you guys don't have pims, do you? You know, but you can have something else in there, I'm sure. Big old jugs of Cosmo or something like that. You know, that'd be nice. The missus had that last night playing Mahjong. Gosh, it was a mess. Anyway, this stuff here, what's that? The old uh, Wedgwood candlesticks, right? With some angels in there. All right, they look cool. A couple of the old uh, salad uh, bowls and you know, the old Dansk, right? Really nice Dansk. Some nitrile powder free gloves, all right? So, you know, if you've got to put your hands where you don't really want to put them, you're better off putting a pair of gloves on. So come and get your gloves, sort that out. All right, we've got some rather neat stamps and coins as well this week. All right, so I know that some of these stamps over here, they've got an old load in there, right? Um, but some of these ones here, um, the consignor's kind of written on there, like it's $42 worth in that one, 55 bucks worth, you know, just what their face value worth in that one. And I think that's 60 odd dollars in that one. Um, and then there's some neat coins and stuff like that in there. Backstreet Boys, Mark Gracie, right, the girl who you know, works in here, you know, in the office, she's been going bananas all week, she ain't left this thing alone, right? I'm surprised, you know, that it's still all, all together like that, because like inside, these Backstreet Boy fellas, they're probably about 78 now, all right, maybe a little bit younger, but they were all their autographs and stuff. So apparently when she was a girl, she had all these guys posted all over her walls, right? So she was well excited when she seen these Backstreet Boy fellas, all right? So all their autographs, so come a bit against her, make her pay a load of money. All right, all right this thing's unusual. Something about uh, Top Secret, all right? So I don't know if it's a game or what it is, right? Daring Eagle, uh, about the Home Guard or something like that, all right? So some kind of new in the box, home guard game really kind of neat and unusual all right so that is a uh, cool all right there's some really cool I've got pictures of um the old midget right mg midget all right from back in like the 80s or something like that um there's some old um, original kind of brochures on that and everything else all right a couple of neat old black and white photos oh, look there's old um what's his name i can't even think of his name the geezer that wears the mask but i used to watch that i think as a kid all right lone ranger that's the geezer with tonto Right, Lone Ranger, that's him. I had a blank there for a minute. I couldn't even think of a geezer's name. All right, so and there's some pins on here. All right, different pins of, uh, I've got pictures of it again. All right, uh, Mexico City and all the rest of that palaver. A uh, neat looking little uh, golfing fella there. Another neat little fountain. I ain't put no water in this one because I'm weird enough from the other one. So I didn't want two fountains going. So a rather neat looking sort of fishing bag there. All right, the guy actually turns into a fountain. So that's rather neat. A fog maker. Don't really know what it does. It creates fog apparently. You know, coming from England, I've got enough fog. I don't want to be seeing any more fog, but I plugged the thing in. It gets really hot, but I didn't have any stuff to put in it, so I couldn't get the fog to come out of it. So I just put on a video of London, and then I saw the fog, so I didn't need the fog machine anymore. A couple of clocks in the old lot, this one. All right, so that's rather neat looking. Um, and then the geezer's brought in some old um, rocks and stuff like that. All right, quartz and stuff like that. Some vintage dolls. Dolls, dolls, dolls. All right, a little chewy uh, Star Wars geezer in there, a little Scottish fella. All right, and some other little baby doll. This is really unusual, from 1958 apparently. All right, so it's a, it's a black police officer, but it's a puppet. So you put your hand up his backside, right, right up there. All right, and then you get his, you know, move around and stuff. But 
couldn't find the geezer, you know, online trying to find out what he's worth because he's probably worth a few quid uh, from 1968, apparently. Oh, that's the year I was born. It's a really good year. All right. So that, that looks rather neat. And I think these are Brands Bears or something like that. The old football team. All right. They've got something written on the bottom about 1977. Creative Manufacturing in 1977. All right. So Mr. and Mrs. Brand Bear by looking at it there. All right. So that's rather neat. Um, some X-Men 1994, something like that in this folder. There's a ton of those cards and everything like that. Um, and a really cool looking Toys for Tots Pride Ride, all right, Kennedy Valve, it's quite heavy actually, it's a metal thing, all right, so that really is quite heavy, um, and some really cool folding chairs, I think there's five of these chairs, so they fold up nicely, really sturdy, nice wooden chairs there, um, really cool Hoover, easy to use, easy to clean, dryer, all right, sort of wet vac thing there, all right, doing the old carpets and stuff like that, um, Nice clock, unusual, right? Wooden clock there for the mantelpiece or something like that. And some old records. I think I know there's old Frank and Nancy and stuff like that in there, All right? That goes on here, Al Jolson. Um, and then some old music kind of um, musical sheets and stuff like that from the early 1900s onwards. Harrods. Yeah, anybody been to Harrods? It's very nice there. It's very posh there, you know? They do lots of nice things in Harrods, but it costs you a lot of money, okay? So it's a little NASCAR uh, juggy things going on there. All right. You've got a really nice um, air conditioning unit. Uh, Idyllis, all right, I took a picture of the back of it to give you a model of that, all right, so really nice, like new Idyllis um, vacuum cleaner there, the old punch bag, all right, and that really neat kiddie seat that didn't go last week, all right, flex locks, that's a really nice modern kiddie seat, all right, for the little baby, just locks in the motor, really nice and safe, okay, and a really nice looking, um, neat looking uh, coffee table there, all right, so that's really nice, so remember, it is November the 10th, Tuesday, November the 10th, 400 East Gulf Atlantic Highway, which is State Road 44, all right, close to the junction of 301 here in Wildwood. Four o'clock preview, five o'clock start, all right. Bring your bums, park them on the seats that I put out. We're going to give you a little bit different variety this week, the way we're going to show stuff. All right, we come down here for four o'clock, have a little preview round, five o'clock, sit your, sit your bum down, all right, and uh, Robbie and I are going to uh, blitz the stuff out and get it all gone. Make sure you bring your money. Spend it.